Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Lord of Dwarves, a game that I have intended to cover for probably the best part of a year, possibly even longer than that. Um, just never got around to doing it. Uh, so I'm doing it now. Uh, we're creating a new game and you'll get to see exactly what it's all about in just a moment, uh, but I'll run you through the settings. Uh, the kingdom name, we're calling it the Bleak Foundry. Nice. Now you get to set when the climactic battle turns up. Uh, now, I'm playing at quite a stupid resolution here, so some of this might be a bit small, so I'll read it all out to you. Um, yeah, we've gone with no specific type of climactic battle after 10 years. If it turns up a bit early, it just destroys everything, and you kind of go, oh, I have to start again. Uh, on the terrain side, we're keeping everything relatively straightforward. We'll go with a medium level of terrain. Uh, we'll, we'll turn the caverns down to tiny, uh, just purely because they get in the way of me building stuff that I want to build, and we'll make them quite rare. Yes, you sometimes get monsters in those caverns, and that can be quite exciting, but rarely have they turned out to be anything other than an annoyance rather than anything significant. Uh, creatures will go with a mix of creatures, and we'll keep the invasions uh, down a little below normal because I want to build some stuff. Uh, then resources, everything normal. Uh, advanced, we'll leave that alone, make it slightly brighter at night time just so that you can see what's going on. Let's crack on. So here is the world that we will be inhabiting. Uh, as you can see, plenty of rolling landscape going on here. Um, yep, it's a bit blocky, and uh, the fact that it's got dwarves in the title should give you a fair indication of what we're aiming for here. The first thing we need to do, though, is, uh, is build ourselves a starting place. Now, on top of this area of stone is not a bad idea. There's some even, even some coal going on there as well, which is quite nice. Uh, but I need land that I can farm, and I also want to be in a dip, if possible. I've just had, I've had more success starting out in a dip than I have on top of a hill. So maybe I should start on top of a hill for a bit of variety? No, 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 no. We'll, we'll go over here. Right, so hit start, select, select start position, and we're, we're away. Right, here are the team. And they're a fine-looking bunch, I think you'll agree. We start out with, well, I don't know, ten, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, nine. We've got nine dwarves who are uh, our starting community uh, with which we'll build something splendid. Yeah, I know, they're, they're a mysterious-looking bunch. And, uh, and obviously, we've started out with all these nice resources kicking around here as well. Uh, first things first, though, is we're going to need to get ourselves a bit of a building area going. Uh, now, obviously, I'm paused at the moment because, you know, otherwise, trouble. Um, well, let's just clear-cut this whole area. Uh, yeah, all of that. Get rid of all the resources that are kicking around there, and we'll build ourselves a stockpile. Now, for those of you who have done uh, uh, done the Rim World, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it's, it's it's got some similarities going on there. It's it's obviously inspired by Dwarf Fortress, but aiming for a bit of 3D action in there as well. That's fine. Uh, this stockpile will hold wood. Yep, 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 smashing. Um, but yeah, it's its its own thing, and, uh, and it's actually quite good fun. I'm just going to set some more stockpiles up so that we can we can move everything that needs moving and uh, and then we'll we'll trot on and get something adventurous happening. I'll unpause in just a moment, but getting this set now is probably going to be quite helpful. Uh, there you go. Right, so I've got wood being stored here. I've got food and drink on that one, and this one will just be... Oh, how about everything else? Yeah, I think that's that's probably a way to go for now. There we go. Just sling all of that on there. Just like that. Okay, right. Get to work, team. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gradually bring the landscape here down to the same height as this base area. Uh, we're going to stay on the surface initially, just purely because uh, doing mining, even remotely well, takes a while. Uh, and we want to be ready for the, uh, the, the first encounter that we have with, uh, with gribbly monster type dude type people type thing. Uh, I've got the speed ramped up here so that we don't hang around too long. Uh, let's, uh, let's get all of this cleared as well, please. Thank you. Right, and we'll, we'll start, uh, start some digging. So the first thing that we're going to build is, uh, is going to be our, uh, our initial redoubt for, uh, for defensive purposes. So I'll get that planned in. Now, don't get too excited. 
uh, it's it's going to be basically a, a mud hut. Uh, yeah, I, I learned everything you need to know from uh, from playing Minecraft. Uh, build it out of dirt, please. Yeah, there you go. One times mud hut. Now, this is not a hut in which we will uh, we will cower inside. It's uh, it's one we'll stand on the top of. Uh, right, yeah, keep going that way a bit further. There you go. Super. Right. There you go. And uh, the team are keen as punch to actually get that built. Now, every dwarf has a speciality. As you can see, we've got one chap who's armoured. Now, I could give him extra work to do, but actually I'm okay with him just kind of standing around going, no, I'm a... I'm a beefcake kind of a dwarf. Just in case we get a, a wolf or something like that decides to uh, to make merry, uh, we'll, uh, we'll be on standby. Uh, basically, it's our, it, our dwarven civil defence unit is, uh, is his purpose in life. Right, so we've got the first floor of this done. We want it two height in total. Now, this will protect us if we face anything other than kobolds. Uh, kobolds come with bows which outrange the weaponry that we're going to be starting off with, speaking of which, uh, drop the tempo back down. Uh, let's get over to military here and then head to uniforms. So you probably can't make this out. Feel free to pause and zoom in or something. Um, basically, depending on what you class a dwarf as, will uh, will dictate the equipment they've got. Now, everybody apart from Captain Axe Wielder here is uh, is currently clad in the, uh, the in the civilian gear. That's that's no good. Uh, so we want to give them uh, thrown weapons, which means that they'll get javelins because I can make I can make javelins, um, and uh, and that will ensure that everybody is armed because if it comes down to it, everybody fights, uh, nobody quits. Yeah, if you don't do your job and so forth. Right there you go. We'll stick a torch there so we can see anything that's going on, and then we'll get some steps built up the inside of here so that they can get to the roof which obviously doesn't exist yet. So there you go, keep going. We're going to use up all of the uh, all of the dirt that we're built, we're, we're uh, hauling out here because, well, you would, wouldn't you? You don't want to leave it just littering the place because that doesn't do you any favours. Right, we've also got a majority of our stuff now moved. These stockpiles aren't really big enough for everything that we brought with us initially, but they'll, they, you know, they'll do the job. Uh, right, get rid of those two roots there, and then let's build our first workshop. So a basic wood shop will do nicely. We'll stick it next to the wood pile that we've got here. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else we'll do. We'll actually harvest some wood. That's uh, probably a, uh, a halfway decent idea. Uh, right, let's grab these oaks from here. Because obviously, eventually, we'll, uh, we'll end up cutting most of this hillside down. Uh, we'll also clear the plants out of there. We'll use all of this. The, the, the game doesn't have uh, the sense of things going off or going rotten or anything like that. Although, you know, monster corpses and uh, and that kind of thing, they will cause a bit of a smell and uh, your people won't like it very much and they'll get sick. So so we'll, we'll avoid doing that. Right, there we go. Six logs is what's needed and uh, a couple of rocks. Someone will go and build that in a moment. The majority of my dwarves at the moment are associated to uh, to just being, you know, general labouring staff. In fact, here's the team. Uh, on the team, we've got, as uh, let's, let's go for professions here, uh, we've got three craftsmen who are Fink Conduct, uh, Jep Cur uh, Cortex and Dick Frisby. You've got Jetson Flange and Savvy Cromulent, who are my harvesters, and uh, or like farmers, even. Uh, and then you've got uh, Rock Justice, Todd Baubles, uh, Ziggy Whippet, are my, uh, my labourers. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's all good. There's one called Stout Hammer, who's also a labourer, who evidently there was, uh, there was a miscommunication because I didn't rename him. Right, our basic wood shop is now up. We're going to make sure that we maintain a stock of 10 javelins. Uh, so we'll make sure that's maintained. So anytime there's less than 10 javelins available, we'll go and make some more javelins. Sensible. Uh, tables, we will craft another eight. Well, uh, yeah, do we? No, let's go for four. We'll craft tables to, uh, to start with, along with a couple of chairs and some log racks, because we need those in order to be able to build the next uh, item on the agenda list there. And, uh, and we'll get to that pretty quickly, I would have thought. Okay, right, up the tempo a smidge. How's the build going over here? We're out of dirt, presumably. Now, in the in the bottom left-hand corner that you can't see, 
because it's tiny, tiny. It tells you when you're when you're short on materials and so forth. It's very, it's very handy. Obviously, only if you look at it though. If you if you spend your time not looking at it, you'll just kind of go, "Why aren't you building a thing?" And it'll go, "You ran out of logs like six months ago," and you kind of go, "Oh, all right, okay." That's why my well hasn't been built and everybody's dying now. There you go, let's dig out all of this lot. And then if we harvest these, because next up I want to get a I want to get a field in place. And in fact, this area back here is ideal for fields. So if we dig out all of that and then uh, and then a bit here as well, that'll give me enough space to get my fields constructed in the first instance. Um, we're going to want grass, we're going to want food, we're going to want trees, all being grown. Later on it will be stuff to make bandages and first aid and all of that kind of lark out of, but to begin with, you need logs. Oh, flipping egg. All right, let's go to town for some, uh, go for some trees here. Uh, right, yeah, get that lot. There you go. Go on, team, keep working. He's having a kip. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just uh, he's taking some downtime. The dwarves don't have personalities to the extent that they just kind of go, nah, I see it. I'm not working anymore. Uh, no, instead, they take a break when they need one. They get food and drink when they need it. On which note, what have we got? 58 food, 142 drink. That is not a lot of food. Although, what have we got over here? This, no, no, that's rain root. Yeah. No, we're going to need something more robust. We've just had three new dwarves join. Okay. So the new dwarves that we've had turn up, we've now got... Uh, we've got Pingu Specific, who, uh, who has been uh, named accordingly. We've got a lot of labourers right now, and a hauler. Someone whose job it is to just move stuff around. Now, you can create uh, professions for yourself in terms of giving people special jobs or stuff to ignore, stuff to do, which is very handy. But initially, the the, the set you start off with are absolutely fine. Uh, who else did we get there? We got Lamar Night Shift, Kiki Tyrant has turned up, and, uh, and Bernard Dunk are also on the team as well. Lot of labourers right now. That will change. I'm going to probably need to give some of them additional jobs or, or secondary jobs or, or just basically reassign them later on. But that's later on. Right, let's get our first field up here. I think. And, ooh, let's put, oh, tall grass. There you go. Good. Tall grass is used for making beds and things. So, you know, that's that's all dead handy, uh, which is why it's worth having. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it, it's all good. Right. Unpause. Get to work, team. Um, right, now then, let's get our next, uh, our next work environment up. We've got plenty of logs coming in. Probably going to be a bit short on stone soon. So uh, if I switch to boulder smash and just do this whole area, any boulders that are in there will find themselves smashed. There you go. That's, uh, that's worked quite keenly. Uh, right, next item is going to be stone tools. Uh, because obviously we want stone tools in order to build stuff out of stone. Yeah, I mean, it's it's rather self-explanatory. Uh, and if you mouse over it, it tells you what you need. Uh, four logs, four rocks. Okay, we've got all of that already. That one's going to be fine. So as soon as that's built, because as with all other games of this kind, you want to make sure you're, uh, you're not going too quick. Otherwise, nothing gets done. We'll build the last bit of staircase up there, and then we've got our initial defensive position. The idea being... Mighty boy in the armour stands out front here, in case anyone tries to get in. Everyone else with their javelins, they all go topside. So anyone coming close, you just lob a bunch of stuff at them. Right, let's uh, let's drag this out here. Let's get this this all all deconstructed. Now we don't need the materials at the moment. In fact, I'm not far off uh, starting to starting to mine. It's just a question of where I want to stick it. If someone would mind harvesting this piece of uh, vegetation here, we can get this block removed and everything will be happy. Yeah, would would someone mind just doing that? If, you, if, if you'd be so kind. Oh, he's having a kip in the field. That's helpful. Um, right, you need logs. Really? Are we going through logs that quickly? Yes. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. But we have got a bunch of tables made. Now, you need tables for uh, for some of the buildings that you've got coming up in the near future. Uh, that's that's why tables are a priority. It's not like I'm trying to create uh, the perfect dining zone uh, for my uh, uh, for my collection of vertically challenged townsfolk. No, 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 no. We, don't, we need the materials in order to make more cool stuff. Right, this is built. 
Uh, we need a hand pump to start with, so we'll have one of those. And then uh, we will make, what do you think, three? Yeah. Uh, three hammers. Yeah. And uh, uh, same amount of chisel and some knives and saws and uh, tongs. Just cause. Uh, anything else? Yeah, pickaxes. Now, pickaxes, you don't actually need them to mine, but you need them to mine deep. So initial stone and things, you can you can cut straight through that without a problem. Food is not looking perfect. All right, let's get our uh, our cookstone set up. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cook fire. Uh, we'll stick that next to here because this is where my I'm keeping my food. Right. What do you need? Rocks. Log. Good. Fine. Excellent. And we, but we also need something that isn't flipping rain roots. What have we got here? Turnips. Ha ha. Right. Okay. Yeah, that'll keep them happy. Uh, never met a dwarf that didn't like a turnip. Apparently, over here you've got foxgloves, which are lovely, but you can't eat them. And if you did, they'd probably make you feel quite ill. Uh, there's some more turnips over there and some bushes that have got, you know, various, various good things on there. But once I've got my cook fire built, and then we can still, in fact, it has been built, uh, we'll go cook vegetables and, uh, and we'll maintain that at, uh, at 50. Um, yeah. Good. Right. Now, I need to assign a dwarf to be the chef. Okay. Who who gets the uh, who gets the principal? Anybody got any skill in cooking at all? No. Not even one of them. Uh, now, they all gain skill as they practice. Todd. Todd Baubles is going to be our chef. All right. Okay, Todd. Good luck. You're going to need some backup. I'll get you some backup shortly, but right now, it's more important that you just get cooking in the first place. Uh, we're also going to need a water pump, otherwise everyone's going to start getting pretty thirsty pretty quickly. Uh, so we'll stick the manual pump here. Now later on you can build a well, in fact not that far off at all really, um, and the well will bring in a heck of a lot more water than just this pump does, but I tend to run with both. That way uh, you, uh, you've got options open, so I, I'll run the pump as kind of an emergency uh, water situation and, uh, and the, the well as a, a general water situation. You'll see it when I get to it. No, no, I know. I'm just telling you stuff before it happens. Meanwhile, we'll start to cook, cook up the vegetables, which will get everyone's mood up a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Now, where do I want my mine entrance? Uh, I think over here, maybe, could do the trick. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get on with it. All right, so if we clear out this lot, and then we'll start just over there. All right, yeah, good. Now, I bet you could build just a straight shaft down as far as, as mining is concerned, but I prefer to, to build in a, a sustainable way by uh, by knocking out three at a time. I'm, I'm tempted not to do that this time, though, in order to speed it up a little bit, because it can take quite a while. Nah, stuff it. We'll do it the way that I always do it. All right, knock those out. Now, I tend to put the mine entrance right next to the defensive uh, facility, Purely so that, uh, well, uh, you get two benefits from it. Firstly, monsters love going and having a wander around your mine and going, oh, what you got in here then? Um, and you go, nothing. No, it's none of your flipping business, mate. Uh, but at the same time, while they're wandering down there, your chaps can all get into a defensive posture. You've put that in the wrong place. Yeah. There you go, cancel it. All right, stick this in. Now, I do this the long hand way. You can just reshape blocks to be what you want them to be. Right, so I can I can basically turn all these blocks that I'm about to start digging up, just turn them into staircases. But I tend to get a little bit unstuck when doing so. So we'll, uh, so, so I prefer to dig the blocks up and then replace them with, uh, with whatever I wanted them to be in the first place. Right, let's put in the next set of stairs. We've got a new uh, a new dwarf has uh, has joined the company. Nice. So that's Eric Marsupial has joined. Now it, he's a craftsman by default, but I'm going to make him a cook as well. Uh, that way, we're we're covered for cooks. I could probably do with one more farmer, uh, and I should. I mean, I could take from your labourers to do that, I suppose. But actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave everything as is for now. Uh, just just while we're still getting established. Um, 
pretty swiftly, I will be moving uh, underground as much as possible, which is why these workshops, topside, I'm just basically throwing them in. Um, right, manual pump. We want to maintain at least 30 water. And we will set a uh, very maximum high priority on that. Because once we've got a well later on, we won't, uh, we won't worry about that. No, that's that's basically the emergency well solution system solution system. Um, yeah, all jolly useful. Uh, right, next up, we want the carpentry workshop, which is obviously going to use more wood, and that's why you you plant a field with wood in there. What are you short on? Nothing. You got everything. Good. Right, smashing. Uh, fields are coming along now. Every time you dig something up, you get more seeds, so you can go build it again. Um, or grow it again, I should say. Uh, and that's, you know, obviously pretty helpful. All right, let's chop all of that lot up. Now, why is why is this one giving me the uh, giving me the, the the run around here? Go and go and dig that up as well, and I can knock those blocks out. Right, we're we're getting some progress down here now. Okay, right. Uh, dig out the next two sets. So I want those gone. I want these gone. Now, you can go down. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. No, I was pressing the wrong button. Down. Down, please. Down, please. Which way am I looking? Oh, I'm put, am I pressing the wrong button? What? I'm not pressing the wrong button. There we go. Right. Ah, oh, that's it. Right. So, yeah, you can uh, you can go underground. So, you can, your focal point can be uh, at the lower end, which is incredibly useful as you go further on. Uh, and then you can hotkey uh, the, the bottom and the top so that you can just zip there straight away, uh, which is very useful. But we're going to need to go down probably, I mean, a dozen levels maybe to uh, to get into stone, which is where we want to be because, you know, that's where the, that's where the adventure starts. Uh, and then we can start building out some, some dedicated rooms and uh, workshops and sleeping accommodation and that kind of thing. Uh, we're on layer four. Right now, we want to be down around layer zero, maybe layer minus two, something like that. Found a bit of coal. That's good. Right. Okay. Yeah. We're not even going to dig that out because we don't need it yet. Uh, right. Fling that round. Stick that on there. We've got another We've got another new member of the team. So we've got Dave Caustic who's joined, and he's a hauler by default, and he can stay as a hauler for the time being. Later on, he's going to get a slightly different job, as will probably all the uh, dedicated haulers. Hauling is something that pretty much all the dwarves will do, merrily. Uh, but uh, it's not the most useful thing you want them to do. I'm going to need a... Um, uh, what? What are you going to need? I'm going to need a, special, a, a, a few more crafters fairly soon. Um, but we'll, uh, you know, we'll get to that when we get to it. Keep going downhill. There we go. Keep going. So I want to keep going down until we've got uh, rock top and bottom for no other reason than uh, the deeper you go, the higher quality the stone that you get out of there. Um, but initially, I'm quite, I'm, I'm pretty cheerful just building out a mud. Uh, although I will replace all of this stuff with uh, with polished cobblestone later on in order to uh, to speed people's progress up and down the stairs. So that's, that's thinking that is. Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking exactly, but that, that is being thought of. So this here is one of those games that uh, that I was sent. I, I get sent games, like, a lot uh, to, to give a look. And you're going, hey, would you like to have a look at this game? And I kind of go, oh, no, mostly. Uh, there are people who send me, you know, the latest 2D side-scrolling platform adventure. I just kind of go, no. Uh, because when you've got a certain number of people subscribing to your channel, as I have, uh, all of a sudden games companies kind of go like, oh, opportunity. And they kind of go like, oh, not especially. The ones who do their job well have actually looked at the channel and kind of go, what sort of stuff does this chap cover? And, uh, and in this case, this one arrived last year at some point, and I went like, oh, yeah, I mean, I've got a, I've got a bit of a, you know, I've got a streak of the, uh, of the dwarf fortresses about me. Uh, I'll give it a look for an afternoon, and if it looks all right, I'll, I'll give it some coverage. It's a year or so later on. I've put 70 hours into the game already, um, 
and uh, and this is the first time I'm covering it because I always intend to do something a little bit more grandiose than just play it and record me chuntering away in the background. Um, couldn't come up with a concept to make it any better than than the chuntering away in the background that you've just witnessed. Uh, but it is very enjoyable and it's made by one guy just one and he was i think he was doing it part-time as well so uh, uh came out of early access in may uh i advocate for those who who fancy a look at it give it a go yeah it's it's not bad yeah i mean i get no kickback from this it's not sponsored there's nothing nothing untoward in any way at all but i found it oddly compelling so if uh, if the price is right and it looks like your kind of adventure Go have an adventure. Yeah. Anyway, there's uh, three more of these coming. I could do loads and loads more, but I know already that because it doesn't look great, it's not really going to get that many people viewing it. Um, and that's fine. Uh, but I wanted to give it a fair shake of the stick. So uh, here's my stick and I'm shaking it. Hmm.